And hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another cast right here. We've got a little matchup for you. It's in the silver region. It is between Rayf Rainfall and Pyro Optic. Two teams competing it out in the silver bracket. NA uh, that we know and love, except if you're EU like me. But we do have Wonder Team Man on the cams and Pinch Nerve coming in here to cast as well. Pinch Nerve, who will be debuting tomorrow, I hear, on the esteemed venues. Pinch. What do you think of this matchup? Oh, I think we're in for a good match. Yeah, they might only be rated silver, but you remember, today's silver is tomorrow's diamond and next week's master teams. Rainfall, who is in orange, is Ebony, 21 Bumblebee, who I believe is a sub, Yuji, and Pulse. 
They're 12 and 8 over only 20 games. Pyro Optic, on the other hand, you'll find in blue, and they are 11 and 11 over 22 games. And playing tonight is Barlfot, Mob Guy, Popcorn Princess, and Lolly B. And I happen to know those people on Pyro Optic, and they are going to have fun. They are the people who enjoy the game. The you're way more prep than me because I, I read the names i started looking up the names after i started talking um like when i started introducing it i didn't even know what the teams are called and you've got all these facts and you're spitting out about them i like that i, I didn't even know that are they, are they gold like are they gold on stream or was that my flux or blue light filter no they're they're silver oh the stars the stars are gold but they are actually silver uh, World Retep says Wonder Team Man in the chat. Retep casting, question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, first of all, yes, I am a regular caster. I casted <clears throat> very recently. I think my last cast was uh, I have three this season. <laughs> my last cast was um, three weeks ago, and then two weeks before that. So I, I am, I'm pretty, I'm pretty regular. Um, you're more, you're more than regular to me. Oh, wonder, <laughs> but yeah, you guys can ready up. Did no one give you the ping to ready up? Did wonder, you did. All right. Well, you guys should have uh, took that. Uh, rosters are wrong. Rosters are wrong. Wonder. Yeah, Jeep Girls does not play for Pyro Optic. Oh. Well, you know what. <laughs> There we go. Oh, hey, we're back in. We in this. We in this. Um, we've also got Bumblebee. Now, twenty-one Bumblebee twelve. That is a name to remember. It just rolls off the tongue because you need to know that twelve Bumblebee twenty-one or around is gonna be one of our new casters uh, in cams, the cameraman in training right now. So they're gonna be doing the wonderful job that Wonder is doing so wonderfully. <laughs> Get it? Oh. Fresh joke. Um, because uh, that is running the whole screen back at here. See that name, Jeep Girls? No, they didn't, because Wonder fixed it. it that, that is the role they'll be doing, and was that a wiggle on stream to say hello? That is so fun. I I, I like that. Do it again. Do it again. I, I won't see it for like 10 seconds, but I, I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, yeah, there we go. <laughs> so, um, guys, if you want to be joining in this, if you also want to run the streams, or be a caster like me, just you know, giggling away in the in the background of a, a game, waiting for it to start, then you should come apply. Come apply to be a, a, a caster. Uh, me and the one you see, who is not actually here right now, but is around with other guys who go through the applications or chat people who want to apply. And I'm so friendly and nice and cool, aren't I, Pinch? Oh, absolutely. Except for that funny accent you have, but that's okay. You know, hang around with us and we'll get that fixed up. <laughs> Just fine. Literally the bullying I get of being an EU. They're one of the only EU people in the in the VRML um, casting team. Which if you're EU, like, you know, come on, what are you doing? Get in here. If you're OCE, amazing, please join. We'll love you. Well, we if you're money, NA, it, like it's fine, but we'll take it too. Yeah, money match, one of one of the only. I'm not saying the only. I did think the only for a second, but I thought that would be a bit, bit mean for much. Um reships actually mean off camera, actually. Wonder, can you just um, mute the comment real quick? Is that right? right. Um, and, oh, the stars work. Hey, that's right. If, if you not eat... Well, how do you even say that? If you not eat... You were... Uh, are you doing? Can you say that how you say that, Wonder? <laughs> if you not eat you... What are you doing? Are they That's just how you talk to Jeff. <laughs> hey, that, oh, I like that. That is a good, uh, that's so good. I'm saving that. I'm, I'm going to send that for my team. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> Hang on one sec. Um, team chat, can you oh, guys? No. Yes. It looks like Rainfall what has just lost a player. Oh, they're back. Well, that was quick. Hey, hello, guys. First time Dasher, King Crip Dash. Welcome in. Nice to see you there. And happy XX William Free. Uh, good to see you. Happy. 
hope you're happy with this game. And hi to you guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely night. It is night for me, it is 1.35, but it's also countdown time. First joust is gonna come in. Neutral joust, and it's taken immediately by the orange side, whose name has not appeared to my side yet. It's gonna be the rainfall, but lost straight away to Pyro Optic, who get a nice little clear to start the match. It's gonna be cleared out the left tunnel. It's grabbed by Popcorn Princess, who's gonna send it to the goal, but oh, unfortunately, it is not gonna go in. However, it is recovered once again by Popcorn Princess, who walks it in the bubble, passes it down to, I uh, look, that was Lolly B who missed the pass, but Borrowfoot is there and grabs it, sends it across to Popcorn Princess once again, sends it down to the goal, but uh, again, just shy of getting into that ring. Fortunately, Mob Guy is right there. It's gonna chase it through the tunnel, but wait, there's somebody right behind him. Uh, he's able to send it right back into, toward the orange bubble, over to Borrowfoot, and it picked up by Bumblebee and cleared out the left tunnel. Yeah, <clears throat> cleared out of the way, all the way. Down now for a chance here as they can take the disc. Walking around, Ebony gets the clear away, but no, it's not gonna be going into the, uh, the other side just yet. They need to recover it again. They do! A lovely dribble there, recovers it from Rainfall. Back on their side again, back on the attack. But no, an unfortunate bounce there. Off Ness, sends it reeling away into the side of Lolly B. Lost again, back and forth so far. No one able to get the real attack going. But we haven't seen any attacks in the bubble. Here's the first, here's a shot, here's a bounce. But no, the goalie was stunned, but the disc does not go in this time. It's going to be picked up by Bumblebee, who does a little uh, bounce off the geometry and over to their left tunnel. It's grabbed by Bumblebee once again, who's going to walk it forward, looking for some pass options, maybe examining the defense, maybe trying to pull them out over by Ness. It's going to look for that shot, but oh, they're stunned out and the disc comes free. Grabbed by Pulse, who shoots it in for oh. two. Hey, that was a nice one. Lovely goal to start the game off as we do see your rainfall. First goal of the game coming out hot here as they take that one for their team. Two points is definitely going to be good to start things off. A little bit of momentum. Can they keep it up? Can they get more? As they get another one coming in. Here's the first, uh, first QB from Pyro. It's a lovely little left tunnel there. They work the relay up all the way, but that player just does not quite get the hands on the disc instead it is going to get cleared back again. No, back into the hands of Blue. Pyro Optics, going for it, open goal, but the bounce shot's not quite in this time, instead it is cleared away accidentally, a self-clear, recovered once again there by Popcorn, who is going to go for a shot, but just barely missing Mob Guy there, and that gives the opportunity for Rainfall to get that clear. And it's sent out through their left tunnel, and the stacks are there, Yuji's going to send it into the goal for three oh. points, they are now up by five. A lovely five points, that three points making the difference. You can hear that. Can you hear that on stream? I hope you can. That spooky little, little, um, dee, 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 dee. Oh, excellent. You can hear it. That's good. I enjoy that. Well, <laughs> spooky season. Um, as we are going to be going in once again. No! One shot. Oh my God. You cannot let them do that. Rainfall. Just take it back. Hear that spooky music and hear them get their more goals because they are scary right now. Eight to zero. Oh my God, yeah, that was scary. I don't want that happening. So on the joust, it's gonna be Pyro Optics sends it over to the right tunnel and it is not caught. Fortunately, Lolly B is there on the relay, is able to grab it, sends it up toward the ceiling, but nobody's there to catch it except for Bumblebee for Rainfall, who get intercepted by Mob Guy. Mob Guy tries to send it across, but it's stopped by Yuji. Yuji sends it back through the mid, and here come the stacks. It's going to be grabbed by who? It's going to be grabbed by 21 Bumblebee, who bounces oh. it off the backboard, oh. but not in. Oh. But Ebony is able to send it in anyway for two points. Two points on the board there. They are now 10. 10 to 0. We're not even halfway through the round yet. They are on track to get a mercy win after no goals for like two minutes straight. But, uh, that's kind of impressive. That's kind of neat. We definitely want to see big oofs. I agree. Jeez. Big oofs right now. Um, as Spike says, they got Pyro has got to slow their game down. Well, they do. They do because right now they cannot keep making these mistakes, unfortunately. Rainfall is just putting on the pressure. They are coming down hard and they are shutting down every single attack as they take this disc back once again. Another two, now 12 to zero. 
and it's once again going to be a pyro optic offensive joust and out of the tubes they come mob guys mob guys going to send it over to popcorn princess who sends it all the way across into the orange oh. bubble but nobody there to get it except for bumblebee the rainfall and over to yuji yuji's going to take their time pass it over to looks like it was i'm not sure but they did not catch it but fortunately, Yuji's able to slap it across and out, but grabbed by Barlfot. Barlfot's going to walk it forward, looking for some options there. Maybe a little dribble together. Oh, no, it goes in the wrong direction. And it's picked off by Bumblebee, who sends it in, but it's not going to make it all the way into the goal. It is in the bubble, but Mob Guy's able to grab it and send it right back out, clear into the orange side and bubble. Yeah, clear away, Yuji, with the disc. Now I'm going to set it down on the ceiling. Go for a little dribble. No, not a dribble play, a passing play. Oh, and a pass back to the mid-air stack. That was nice, but in the process, they accidentally split their stack. So that clear, they're gonna need to stack fast. They do manage it. Popcorn Princess racing for the disc, but gets stunned out. So Yuji recovers it once again now on the wall, on the floor, looking for a pass option. Taking their time, a lovely bit of juking there. Gets on the attack, but no, just missing that disc under pressure. Into the Alcan, dodge around again. A lovely bit of juking oh. and a windmill over the top means that Opos takes that one in 14 to zero right now. Yeah, this, this is definitely not a good start for a Pyro Optic, but Rainfall, they're rocking it right now, even with the sub. And right now, Yuji has, wow, eight points already. They certainly are doing a great job. Higher Optics Offensive Joust, it's going to go out and through the right tunnel all the way across. Nobody's there to catch it. And into the Rainfall Bubble. And oh, the stack is there, but they get stunned out. It's recovered by Ebony, who sends it out of the bubble over to Yuji. Yuji's looking for and sends it out through mid all the way across. But the geometry's in the way and the stacks are coming. It's grabbed by 21 Bumblebee. 21 Bumblebee walks it across. It's going to do a pass over into the geometry. It's not picked up. And this chase is on. It's slapped into the blue bubble. And here they come. It's going to be, oh, they just missed grabbing that disc. But able, Barlfoot's able to grab it and Lolly B's able to clear it. But Ebony's there to pick it off and send it into the geometry once again. Uh, once again, we're going to have a little race for the disc. Popcorn Princess is able to send it out through the left tunnel. Yeah, left tunnel clear. Can they recover? No one's there yet. Still no one for a long time. Oh, the stack was quick, but they went for the goal. But they're still able to get it in time. We're not seeing the stacks we need to see right now from Pyro Optic. We need to clean things up just a little bit. But they do recover the disc, but not getting the clear through. The stuns are quick tonight, though. They do get both stacks here. But no, unfortunately, it's straight back into the hands of Rainfall. Another chance. They shoot and they score. They do not miss. Instead, it's going to be another free. Rainfall, one free point away from the Mercy win. And that was a beautiful three point shot from the tunnel and 17 meters per second flying in. There's not a whole lot you can do about it if you don't have a goalie there. On yet another pyro optic offensive joust, it's going to go out through the left tunnel. It looks like it's floating free. Nobody was able to catch it. It's going to be grabbed by Bumblebee, who resets it back to their goal. But once again, it's not caught. And another race for the disc. It's going to be grabbed. It looks like pyro optic. Oh, they overshoot it. But Popcorn Princess is able to pick it up and float it back toward the bubble. Pass it over to Barlfoot. Barlfoot sends it. Oh, it's intercepted. But back to Barlfoot. Uh, that going to bounce around. A lot of back and forth here. And sent over the top into mid by Rainfall. Yeah, take him a Rainfall now. Cleared up fields. This could be the game ending point. Oh, recovered away. Taken away. No, Opos wants the shot. Oh. Millimeters away from absolutely murdering them there. Another shot not going in. Are they going to go for the free? They are. They're going to take their time on this free point right here. They want to make sure this is the point that ends the round. No one's going for a goalie stun. So they do go for the goal, oh, going for the disc, barely sniffing their fingers here. That's 45 seconds to go. Paroptic is just trying to hold them off now. They spin around. They look for the attack. They shoot oh. it. That head bouncing away instead, it is getting recovered. And Wolfman, Bumblebee, shoots the shot, but once again, they cannot seal the deal on this final shot. What the disc? Did that just, oh, I know my SME. me. <laughs> That's your normal bounce. Um, and it is going to go Opals once again. 25 seconds to go. One free pointer and it is over. But they're not getting it. 
cleared away once again. Pyroptic with some really nice defensive work. A shot, slightly rushed. He's a little bit down frantically. They do get it back once again. Eight seconds to go, but no. The defense is clean. The defense is on it. Pyroptic, get it away. And could it be? Oh, oh. so close to the first point of the round. Instead, they are going to be coming away with none in this one. Unfortunately, it's 17 to 0. That is a decisive victory for Rainfall. Yes, but that is only round one. And as everyone can see, it looked like Pyrooptic was picking up their game there toward the end. So I'm sure we're going to see a much more competitive team in the second round. And speaking of competitive, we are in Fall Fest. This weekend, Onward and Pavlov continue their postseason qualifiers. Be sure to subscribe to VR Master League or Pavlov underscore VRML on Twitch to tune in to those events. Also, November 5th and 6th is the Echo Arena VRML Season 6 Cycle 3 Challenger Cup in North America. Games start at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific on both days at Echo Arena underscore VR. ML. I love that channel. Oh, should we just put it in the chat? We put that in the chat. We can put links in. That was just VML1, right? Yeah, it's Echo Arena. It's the Vermal one. There you go, gang. I'll put it in the chat. Go there for the... Wait. Uh, slash... You know, we can do a slash announce as well. Yeah, can I you... don't know how to work oh, Twitch. I... All right. Well, I didn't. <laughs> no one... I do this every time someone's like, whoa, whoa. That's crazy. What was that again? That last one was Full Fest, right? Yeah, it's Fall Fest. Fall and the Fest. Challenge you got. Watch and stuff. And then I'll... There you go. <laughs> well, while you're typing that, we have another neutral joust, and it's going to be picked off first by Rainfall. Rainfall looks like he got stunned out, but Yuji's able to recover it, sends it over to Ebony. Ebony's going to float it toward the shield, bounce off the shield, not into the goal. Yuji's able to grab it. It's going to take a low shot, but ding! Off the ding ring, and it's floating free, and... Here they come. It's going to be grabbed. Oh, it's grabbed by Bumblebee, who's going to send it back toward the goal. But wait, no, there's a goalie, so it resets back to Pulse. Pulse is going to look for some options and send it all the way across to Bumblebee. Bumblebee backs up, takes a look for those options. It'll dance it around on the floor, draw them out, pass it over to Yuji. Yuji's going to also bounce around, send it over to Ebony, who oh. takes the shot for two points. And once again, Rainfall is in the lead. Two points. Coming the round strong. That's what you want to see. If you are a big Rainfall fan in the chat, uh, hey, say hi if you're Rainfall chat. Cheers to your team. Give me some, um, I don't know what Twitch emote. You, what? <laughs> Actually, public Twitch emote. Because we only have like one on the channel. Um, wait, do we? It's like, yeah, yeah, the only one we have is the power door one. Uh, aha, that's good enough for me, Spike. I'll take that one, hey. That's the hype emote. Uh, it's also, yeah, 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 lol. Um, I don't know those extreme and specific ones. Anyway, as they do that, that you know what, that's good enough emote. Let's get rainfall. Um, but as <laughs> they do go again for Opals, taking it upfield again. Shooting down. Looking for a attack right there. Uh, they go. They swing. They shoot. a ding it. And it goes in anyway. A little tiny bounce. And it is good. Uh, that is another goal. That is another two points also. Before you jump in. I well, kind of feel bad for Popcorn not, Princess. I've done those. I, I feel bad for Popcorn Princess making the self goals. You think you have it. You think you're going to get it out, and then you pull it right back in. So Popcorn Princess on the joust passes it over to Mob Guy, who's going to send it down. Oh, but it's picked off by Bumblebee, who sends it all the way back into the pyro-optic bubble. And the stack is over, but Pulse is able to send it down oh. into the goal for two points. They are now up by six. Six points. Hey, that's more than uh, more than four. They are definitely coming in here quick. They have two. Mm, they are more than a quarter of the way to a mercy, right? And less than a quarter of time gone, which means they are well on their way. So they can do it once again. They didn't get it last time. They could do it this time, but their oh, optic is not out of the game. No, sir. -y. They are only a quarter way for the rat. And I mean, maybe they get scored on here. They do get scored on here, but that's all part of the game plan. Because that happens sometimes. You know, you, here's the thing, right? I would say Echo Arena is all about momentum. I, mean, I say that. Everyone says that, right? If you don't say it, you should. Echo Arena is a game of momentum. One side here, obviously, Rainfall, is coming out hot. They're definitely looking strong. They've got some really good moves on them. They have some good aggression. They're looking like the top team right now. 
Momentum comes in usually because of a little bit of mental game, right? Wouldn't you agree, Pinch? Absolutely. And, well, unfortunately, right now, Rainfall just recovered the disc again. And it's in the blue bubble again. And it's shot. And it's another two points. They are now it up by is. 10. Lovely job there. Uh, although, I'm not quite sure, you know, I can't believe that I, I asked you a question. You just answered it by ignoring it completely. And well, I'm not ignoring it. I'm casting the game. <laughs> So we're going to have another Pyro Optic Joust, and we're going to see if they get their momentum. Popcorn Princess is going to pass it over to Barrel Fought. Barrel Fought's going to float forward, take a look for some options, try not to get it intercepted again, and send it all the way down and across. But there's nobody there, and it's going to be yet another race for the disc. It's grabbed by Pulse and Rainfall, who's able to walk it back and look for their own options, send it all the way across, and it's going to be back into the blue side and into the blue bubble. And... The only one coming is number 88. That'd be Ebony. Ebony's going to look, send it straight down back into the goal for oh. another two points. It is now 12 to 0, and we have over five minutes remaining. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. That is crazy. Hey, that's less than half time, more than half the points. They're really, really strong. I mean, right now, the mental game, you know what? I asked you about it, Pinch. You didn't tell me. I'll tell you. So, <laughs> fuck up and listen, bud. Um, mental game. It's crazy. It's so important right now for a team like Pyro who are being. I haven't been able to get any points on the board yet. They've been held off every time by Rainfall like that. A really nice display right there as Rainfall is able to get another stun off on them. Stop them from getting in. What rank is this? These guys are silver. You actually see that from the star in the middle. It's a beautiful little coding thing that Newton Dad made where uh, that star is in two parts. The left half is for the left team. Right half is the right team. So usually it will be all one color. But if it's like silver gold, then it will be left silver, right gold. Give it a sec. Um... But mental game, I mean, like stuff like this, right? Where they're constantly attacking. Some really good attacks. And, oh, oh. scoring. Constantly scoring with a lovely recovery there. They do not get their hands on the disc, but they recover it. They pull it back. They're able to get the next player on it, and they still get the goal coming in. It's really, really nice recoveries. And that definitely affects mental. Right, Pinched? Absolutely, and it's it's kind of, you know, it's, it's hard to be beat this hard. But you know what? I know these players. They're laughing. They're having fun. It doesn't matter. They want to enjoy themselves. Even when Yuji misses the goal like that, it's it's all fun. It's a good game. And, you know, Ebony's going to shoot it. It's not going to get in. It's going to sent back out by a Popcorn Princess. And Popcorn Princess is going to try to clear it out, but it keeps bouncing off the geometry. Um, I bet you she's laughing right now, too. Ebony grabs it, but no, Popcorn Princess is able to grab it back and almost gets it clear out, but Pulse is there to grab the disc instead. Pulse is going to bounce down, send it across to Ebony. Ebony gets it stolen by Mob Guy, who sends it out through the left tunnel. And there, there's your momentum. Here come the stacks. They all overshoot the disc. Oh, but it's grabbed by Yuji. Yuji's going to send it right out through the mid. Oh, but wait. Mob, by, mob guy picks it up and they have a stack right there. Over to Barfot. Barfot's going to pass it over, oh, but misses the target and it's going to bounce around the geometry. Uh, unfortunately for Pyro, it's picked off by Pulse. Pulse is going to send it through their right tunnel and all the way across. You're right. Hey, I just unmuted Blue for a little bit there. They actually are vibing. That's great. We love that. I sound like they're having a great time in there, uh, which is, is, is actually really, really nice to hear. But... Will they have a nice time after this oat pulse attack? We'll see. We'll see. You hear popcorn downstairs laughing. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's, see, that's what I like to hear. I like to hear that. The mental game is, is strong. I'm telling you, mental is important, and they got it. They got it. That's such an important thing. Oh, but you know what else is important? What else is important? A little bit of teamwork that we're seeing right now from the rainfall. That stun on the goalie and then the beamer. Uh, that's what they did there. Let's recap. If I remember right. Holding back, right, the guy on the top there, waiting their time, and then waiting just long enough to get that disc, dive in, wait for the stun on the teammate, and then get that goal right afterwards. Some really, really good coordination oh. that shows some like advanced plays from these players. Yep, and it's grabbed by Bumblebee. Bumblebee sends it right back, and it uh, missed by both teams, and Lolly B is able to grab it and is going to send it back into the orange side. Unfortunately, Barfot's unable to catch that disc, but it does make it all the way into the orange bubble. Bounces around. It's going to be slapped down. I'm not sure quite who grabbed that, but Pulse has it now and is going to clear it out through mid over everybody's head. 
and it's grabbed by Ebony, who's walking it forward, and it's gonna, oh, tried for that mail slot. Two slot tries oh. in the mail slot. Finally, they get it in by 21, Bumblebee, 12. Yeah, okay. This is looking like it might be the end here. The end is in sight. The light at the end of the tunnel for Rainfall is it only two points. A single goal, a two or a three, will secure them a mercy win right now. They go for the headbutt. Oh, they go for the headbutt, but it doesn't work. The recovery is too good. Uh, here, they would take it back. There's this can hand, Bumblebee. Bumblebee takes the hand to this to Ebony. Ebony is waiting on the top. Passing it back again. Oh, they were hanging in place that attack, but they just got stunned out. They got read very nicely by Pyro, but the pressure is on right now. Can they hold out for the next minute straight? They go for an attack of their own. Wait, this could be good. This could be great. They shoot. Oh. Oh, what a ridiculous save. But it's going to be cleared out through their right tunnel. And we're going to have a disc chase once again. But the rainfall stacks are able to get there first. It's going to bounce around. Looks like it was fumbled a little bit. Pulse is able to recover. Going to hang out in that uh, geo there. Send it across to uh, Ebony. Ebony is going to pass it across. But it's missed. And it's grabbed by Popcorn Princess, who sends it right back out, at least as far as mid. And it, Ebony's able to send it right back in over to Yuji. Yuji has an open goal who shoots and scores three points Ooh. for a mercy win. That's it, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between. That is going to be our game right there. 21 to 0. A beautiful two round win. Two, uh, yeah, two round win. Yeah, that's it. They got it in two. They got a total of, what was that, like 39 points? They did, right? Uh, 39. 39 to 0. That is a, a crazy way to come away from this whole thing. What was that, Wonder? No. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was like 18 last time. Uh, well, you know what? That's the difference. 37 points to 0. Some really, really nice play coming out from Rainfall, right? That consistency. I'm, what, you tell me, Pinch. You're, 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 you're the new guy here. I want, I want to see your skills. What was it that you saw Rainfall doing that was just getting them those points again and again and again and again? Honestly, I believe they're just a better team. Uh, sometimes you, you play what? against a better team, and I think that you know, they had the better stacks. They were able to get in the passing lanes much more often and pick off those discs. And their shots, except for a few dings, were more accurate. Well, if you're going to pick one thing, one thing out that really got them the game, right? One thing that, that they, they've got under wraps right now. What would you call it? Stacking. Why? Their stacks got together much quicker. They were much faster. They looked more coordinated. That's it. You, you I, move across yeah. the arena faster. Honestly, yeah, I, I actually fully agree. I mean, you're right. Their stacks were clean, and that did get them the disc back again and again. And especially in a game like this, where it's kind of frantic, and you're doing a lot of clears at field. The team that can stack for the disc faster and take it back every time is so often... The team that uh, is going to be getting those attacks coming. And um, we saw that. You're right. We definitely saw that again and again here. But definitely a really nice game from both sides. Just unfortunately there, the Pyro is getting shut down so cleanly. But they had some really nice moves on their side. Definitely one to watch out for. Uh, you can't let go of both of these teams because uh, just because you're getting lost here, just getting beaten, the scores do not represent the skills of the team in this game. Right? I mean, you know, because they didn't get a chance to attack, we didn't see their, their, their attacking skills. But their defense was nice. And uh, it would be definitely good to see them next time if they can work on those stacks, see them come back in again and see what else they can do. Absolutely. In terms of a little schedule for the night, I think that's it for us, right? That is it. I just do have one, one announcement before we sign off. And that is November 20th is a day you are not going to want to miss. Echo Arena VRML Season 6 Grand Finals for Ooh. North America. European Union and Oceania. This should be one of the biggest shows in VRML history. So be sure to tune in for the best Echo Arena you'll see all year, November 20th. Yeah, definitely come. That's going to be sick. To be, that's going to be so hype. I'm, I'm actually so excited for it already. And if you want some more VRML or VR action tonight, there is the VR Lanada. The Canada land happening uh, right now. And it's just finished the night, but it is 
Yeah, I hope you're trying to correct me there, Wanda. I know what you're going to say. It's not on literally right now, right? But no, I think they are there at the minute. They're over there at the minute. And good old Palador is going to be casting the Echoholics games uh, right now. It actually is up. They are currently, uh, I don't know, because I got an ad. I got to subscribe to work out what, what it is. Wait, let me subscribe. But they are mid game right now. We're going to send you guys over there. I'm pretty sure we can still do that. We'll, we'll raid that channel. Um, they are. There's, oh, there's Money Mitch. Money Mitch, that son of a gun. An EU caster over there casting with, new, with Paladol right now. Literally my dream. I would love to go to the, the, the Candle Land. God damn it, but I'm not there. So you guys can go instead. I'm going to send you over there right now. Um, so, I've been Rita This has been Pinch Nerve. And of course, of course, you know I've loved him. One team out on the cams. We'll see you guys next time. VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX Asterian Products Border Foods VR Cover ProTube VR Rebuff Reality and VRWare.net